Hey, everybody. Hey, I just want to catch you before you head out. So that's why I'm standing here in front of the door. Good morning. It's Chucky there. And I had a thought, you know. Um, we all have to pause. <laughs> Get that pause? No, but really, we do. And and it's interesting. Um, you know, the idea uh, that that you are a temple of of love, of the spirit of God who is identified as, as love. And that this God, this creation, this creator thing breathed into you its self, its love. And so you're like, you're like this temple that holds the breath of love and love is in you. And when you head out today, it's what you're going to be looking for. And it's what you're going to be looking to give. I mean, think about it. Everything you do at the end of the day is to help you either feel love, um, feel loving, or replace the desire to feel loved or feel loving. And, and boy, I could sit here and prove that for hours and hours, but I think in your heart you know it. And if you don't, just look at every single movie and TV show and listen to especially like all the songs that you listen to and, and tell me what, what isn't about love. Tell me that it's not a replacement or, or a distraction for or until one gets to love. So, you know, if whether or not you believe any of this, it's just interesting to ponder that, that the idea that the human being, its unique quality is that it is the house for, the temple of, the wineskin, the, the vessel in, in and through which love wants to exist and wants to breathe. I mean, let's take the word God out of this for a second because God is just a, a job description. There's, and throughout the all of these texts, there's so many gods, but there's just one Yahweh, one of them. And that Yahweh, um, it's identified, it, it manifested into human form. And the other human that knew that human form the best, John, he said, God is love. So again, if God is love, then let's just talk about love. And, and even and if that, that forum, that Jesus fellow, he said, you know, people will know that you follow me when you love. So when love flows through you. So if, if God is love, let's talk about love. And, and if people will know that you're in relationship with God by love, then let's talk about love. So if love is living in you and people will know that you are with love by the way in which you love, and that love literally breathed into you. And then it, it came down here and did something which we don't understand, but apparently it resulted in giving it the ability to make you a temple for it. Well, then not only are you carrying its breath, but you are carrying it. And you're going to leave here today and look for it and look to be a part of it. Love, love, love. But even if this doesn't make any sense, you still need to pause. <laughs> Positivity. You still need to just chill. I mean, that's science, you know? Transcendental meditation has been scientifically proven to, to align all the things in your mind and body that need aligning. So scientifically, we are meant to take a breath, to relax, to... Inhale, exhale. Do it consciously. Be aware of your breath. Slow down before you speed up. You know, be precise. And above all, be positive. <laughs> okay, all right. This has been Chucky Corner. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bark. <laughs>